Holy smokes. Hey, gun people. Man, that's a pretty good one. So, uh, these cops did most everything pretty good. Uh, some tactical issues, crossfire, jumping in front of people's rounds, not clear communication, uh, responding, but this is a pretty uh, high-risk, kind of tensey incident. So uh, this is posted on Fox Washington video shows Baltimore police man killed three neighbors and set home on fire. Uh, a lot of confusion between dispatch and cops. So I want to go over the, um, the call-in so you can kind of hear what's going on. But I'll probably speed it up and bump it forward. So let's bump it. Let's bump it just to 125, and then I can bump it forward. Here we go. One in police dispatch, communicate be disturbing. I have this nearby Kelly's Court in Campwell Road. Yes, and actually the Kelly's Court address is closer to where something is going on. It jarred me out a bit. Somebody banging in somebody's front door, and then I just heard three gunshots. I see a man standing in... Okay, so we got word call, three gunshots, kicking in door, possible forceful entry, possible... Violent felony, uh, theft, robbery, murder, who knows? We got gunshots kicking in the door. This, this high priority call. The door closed with them. With it, and I'm about three or four. Days. My address is. You can't miss it when you come up the street, though, because, uh, like I said, I don't know what he did to get in there. It, I was sound asleep, and it just jarred me out of my bed. Um, and I. Uh, okay. All right. I hear some, you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Because I hear somebody screaming now. A woman okay. Screaming. And what's your, and your name, ma'am? I, I, I can't look out there. I, you know, I just... And how many shots did you hear, ma'am? I think three shots, okay. There's a house where the man has signs all over his house that the FBI is after me, and we've known for years that he has a mental health problem. Okay, that's a big clue. We need to update that. We got a man with a gun at his house. The FBI is after him. Now there's possible issues. Is the FBI serving a warrant that we don't know? Is the FBI there? Do we know this guy? Is he always crazy? Do we already know that the FBI has not no interest in him and this guy's just crazy? All that goes to state of mind, totality of circumstances. And I think that is the house. That okay. Is the trouble. It's the okay, just keep it. Okay, yeah, we got to find a problem to help in the way, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. More gunshots. Okay. All right. Hello? Baltimore County, 911. What is the address? We, we, we just had a house blow up, and the, and the house next to it is on fire. It's on a, house, wait, a house exploded? Yes. Okay, what's the exploded. address? Yeah, a house blowed up. That means it exploded. Why you got to ask that? We don't know. Okay, what's the closest intersection? Uh, oh, my gosh. All we heard was pop, out, pop, and then the house blew up. Okay. Oh and Murray Road, what's the closest intersection to West Court? Court? Okay. I'm sorry, it's Kelly's Court. Kelly's Court. Kelly's Court and Murray Road. And house is burning. We don't see them. We don't see them. All right, and just repeat oh, that intersection oh. back to make sure that I have it correct. We heard the gun. We, we heard gunfire. Okay. I just so happen to be in the house. Get information from you. Okay. I want to make sure I'm on the ground. Who's got a victim on the ground shot? Okay. Who? So now we have people shot on the ground, a house blowing up, and shots fired, and a guy saying the FBI is after him. We got a victim on the ground. Okay. A female, and she's got blood all in front of her. Okay. Is she breathing? I don't know. She's just lying on the ground. Okay. We got help. We got a lot of help coming to you. Okay. What's the phone number that you're calling from? Okay. <laughs> the gas. Oh. And do you see anybody with the gun? I need you to get to safety right now. We're in the house. Miss, I need you to get in the house, close the door. And okay, so now the dispatcher start trying to protect and serve you and start telling you what to do. Never stay on the phone and don't take advice from dispatchers. Even though this is probably pretty good advice, I don't want some woman sitting in a cubicle telling me what to do and she has no idea. She could be telling this person to get back in the house and maybe the armed guy just went in the house and she doesn't want to get in the house and now she doesn't want to get arrested if she doesn't listen to this. I mean, don't hang on the phone with freaking dispatch, people. It's not a good thing. And duck below the windows. 
He blew up his house. I understand that he blew up his house, but I need you to get to safety right now. Well, that went uh, tyrannical real quick, didn't it? I know he blew up the house. I need you to get to safety. Listen to me. I am the governor. I am the charge. You are. Listen to me. Oh, I forgot. I'm not a cop. I'm just a dispatcher. Oh, my God. Now, this guy supposedly killed three neighbors. And then he came. What race is the man that's holding? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Is he black, white, Asian? He's a black male. Oh, man, that's racist. You can't say that. Black male? In his late, yes, probably in his. And he's wearing all black. And he's standing in front of his house while it's burning. Okay. Now, listen, do you have any victims do you see on the ground out there, Miss? Yes. There's a lady standing, there's a lady laying on the ground by a car. She's not moving. Okay. Police, I can't. He shot okay. the police. He, he shot the he, cop? He, he shot at the police. Okay. He shot this, oh, God, I can't stand by my window. He's shooting at the police. He shoot. <laughs> the smoke got shot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. He did not, he act like he's down. He still shoot. I'm sorry. Uh, I got to get away from my window. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. I, I it's have... okay. I need you. Once the cops are there, especially get off the phone. You're not. You're, nothing you're saying is going to be relayed to the officers. The officer is engaged in shooting and doing that. Doesn't matter. They're putting shit out on the radio. Uh, you're not doing anybody any good by staying on the phone. But you can. I mean, it's your choice. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Have deep breath. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 225 and a canine on a channel. It's going to be a weapons call. Murray Road. Murray Road off of Kelly's. And weapons call? That's a little bit different than a guy out there shooting. Can't well. There's a male shooting at the neighbor at. About here, top. Ten four supervisor on a channel. Ten four. We're also getting a structure fire in for that um, 7300 block of Murray. Car heard popping noises, and then heard a boom, and then saying the house is on fire. You can tell this dispatcher is reading what the other dispatcher wrote. So she's answered the phone, she's typing, and this dispatcher is reading what she's writing. This is where miscommunication. This is why I don't ever like giving my description or what car I'm driving or what house I'm in. That is totally irrelevant. They will always ask you those questions. I don't want any cop confusing me as the bad guy because they hear a description of me and now they get on scene in a crisis, people are getting shot and they see somebody like me and like, shit, that might be the suspect. Don't give them any information on you, your car, or your house. It's my input. They're saying it was seven shots, a handgun in reference to the first call that came in and then we're getting a call for Kelly's court um, for an explosion and it came in for advise that mental health is order and has signs advising that the FBI is after him. Yes, and for their direct on it. I mean, it's reasonable to think that if the FBI is after him and they're on scene, they're probably burning up and blowing up his house. Hell, they did it at Waco. They did it everywhere else. Why wouldn't they do it there? Rick, you can't say that. Well, I just did. Time is 6.43. We're just going to make fire aware of the shots fire call just in case it is for whatever reason. See, she's too much time on the radio. Shut the fuck up. I hated people that did that. We're out here on a damn call. I got to be able to talk to the guy next to me. I got to tell the guy pulling up which way to go. I have to have the radio so I can control the scene because I'm on scene. I don't need your dispatcher ass telling me there's dark smoke in the area and telling me what time it is. All this is bullshit and tells me this is bullshit dispatching training. Or they don't have a lot of shit going on and these dispatchers get diarrhea of the mouth and they want to tie up the damn radio. Shut the hell up. Cops are on scene. Stay off the radio. Alright, they see smoke in the area. Ten four, ten three is on the channel, shots fired, time is six forty four. See, all this doesn't need to be said. All she has to do is say officer, shots fired. Shut the fuck up. Oh dispatchers like that drove me nuts. I can't tell you the number of times that I have put out on the radio the suspect is running or what direction or what he's wearing and it's covered up because dispatchers are running their freaking mouth over bullshit and nobody heard it.
47, 1050 departmental. 10 for 1050 departmental. 644, any medic needed for that? Any medic needed. Really? You got to ask that in the middle of a freaking shooting? Good grief. Somebody put a muzzle on that damn dispatcher. No, it's just me. Security green gauge. I'm just going to jump in with somebody else. 10 for security what, what green gauge. Where you at? 26, where are you at? Because shots fired. 26, shots fired. Dispatcher don't even know where they're at. She's putting out the time and all this other bullshit. Ten four, shots fired, subject down. Time is six forty four. What's your exact location? Morgan Kelly's. Morgan Kelly's. Morgan Kelly. Ten four, subject down. Ten three's on the channel. Get the medic sorry at six forty four. All units stand by. All she wants to do is run her mouth. Shut the unit stand by. That's what the freaking code thirty three is. That's what the beeper's for. Shut up, woman. Beeper, beeper, coming quick, 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 quick. First out, let me know. See, he, this cop here is trying to tell another cop, you just passed the guy, stop, you're driving in the line of fire. And she's like, uh, first out, let me know because I'm in charge and I'm at dispatch and I need to know everything because I'm important and I can tie up the freaking radio. Meanwhile, you guys that are getting shot at and you can't talk on the radio because I like to run my freaking mouth when it ain't full of a donut. Oh, dispatcher's pain in the ass. Exactly what I got. Two subjects down. All right, two subjects down. Time is 6.46 hours. <laughs> All right, two people down. More shots fired. Three people. No. All right, three people down. Signal 13. Time is 6.46 hours. You can tell her getting jacked up. I got to repeat. I got to get everything in. I got to stay on the radio. I got to keep talking. Going on. Start Wilkins and Franklin and Pikesville. Active shooter for him. So I'm assuming 209 is probably a supervisor. And when you have an active shooter, most agencies have a multi-agency contract that if we request multiple agencies because of an active shooter, every agency will send available units because we're going to need as many people as possible for crime scene, for blocking, case suspect run, multiple suspects, multiple injuries, ambulance control. So there's all kinds of issues. So I'm, so I'm assuming 209 is a supervisor and he just initiated an active shooter protocol that gets all units there. We would have called this uh, either a triple six or an 1199. 1199 I mean we need all uh, uh, bordering counties and PDs to send people. Because right now we have we have the shooter. Uh, one house is fully engulfed, and uh, we have uh, another one getting set on fire now. All right, active shooter. One house is on fire. Another. No reason for her to repeat that. None. Just freaking write down. It's being recorded. You repeating it does nothing. You're just tying up the radio so the officers on scene can't talk. Everyone's on fire. Time is 6.46 hours. We're all coming. Time for everybody's coming. We're getting pikes full. See, he says it in three words. We're all coming. She says, 10-4, everybody's coming. We're getting Paxville. We're getting Franklin and Wilkin and they're all start. See this running of the map. These freaking dispatchers like this drove me freaking shut up and stay off the air. A good sergeant would correct the dispatcher. Stay off the air. Let the officers have it who are on scene. And he would shut this shit down. So I don't know why supervisor isn't doing that. Franklin and Wilkins are started. Two on, I need a staging area for medics. And a couple. Supervisor's kind of an idiot too. I don't give a shit about a staging area right now. I got officers on scene involved in shooting. I don't know if officers are down. I don't know if they're still receiving fire. I don't know if they're exchanging rounds. We don't know how many suspects there are. We don't know shit. And you're asking for a staging area? Shut the fuck up. Well, units at the staging area to uh, guide them in. All right, I need units at the staging area. Units on scene, are you still okay? Where's the shooter? We have one. Well, they probably already said that, but everybody was fucking talking about bullshit, so nobody heard it. Shooter down. Um, no confirmed uh, second shooter. I think it's just the uh, actual house that's blowing sparks. When you see the video, that, that's what's happening. The electrical or ammo is going off in the house. I mean, it doesn't sound like gunshots to me. It sounds like electrical popping. But they called in multiple gunshots. They're still taking gunfire. So one shooter is down. We have three total subjects shot and down. We have medics en route. Two houses on fire. What, what is the purpose of her repeating all this? Rick, it makes her sound important. And, uh, and she's tying up the radio. And uh, yeah, okay. There is no freaking purpose. I don't give a shit that she's repeating all this. If I'm an officer on scene engaged in a freaking active gun battle, it's just freaking stupid. We know after shooter at this time. Twenty-five to check any of our personnel heads. 
Any personnel hit advice? You have no police. This is suitable. All right, no police hit. Time is 6.48 hours. 209, did we shoot? Four. Man, this 209, this supervisor is a freaking idiot, too. He's more worried about paperwork and everything instead of, like, dude, shut the fuck up and get your dragon ass fucking out of the office. That's why you're not on scene because you weren't mobile. And get on scene and stop asking questions and tying up the radio thinking you're important, Sergeant, and you need to know all this shit. You'll find out when you get there. Ugh! You know, three or four. All right, three or four officers had shots fired. 20 to head. All right, I'm logging all of you. All right, there I'm logging on. You've tied up the freaking radio for 20 minutes and you ain't logged on? Guess what? I don't give a shit that you're logging on. Shut up and stay off the radio. Any cop that's worth his salt will absolutely connect with what I'm saying. This is the most irritating thing in the world when you're trying to control an active hot scene and this shit's going on freaking radio. For two units I tried to log on earlier, I was 10-6. What unit are you so I can get you logged on? 244, your ID. When I was working task force, we actually would go to our own separate TAC channel and I would say, everybody switch to TAC 4 because we can't talk on this radio because everyone else is talking. And that usually sent a pretty strong message to everybody, shut the hell up. And then we'd all switch our radios to a different channel where we could talk. And you know what? The freaking dispatchers would stalk us to that channel and they would go to that channel. And they would start repeating shit on that channel. 26 with me. We're going to be in my car. 10 26 key up in. I think we've got it contained, but check with uh, 25. I'm not on scene. 25, yeah, I'm just going up now. Just check with the units. Is that where they are at? I got fire personnel all out here. They were at Murray and Kelly is where the first shots went. Man, you guys are just having a conversation over the radio like freaking, uh, you're just meeting at the coffee thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we'll check. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, we, we got fire. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, man, who's going to pick up donuts for tomorrow? Because we got a meeting in the morning and uh, we need to cover that. And could you call my wife and tell her to pick us some chicken? Because I noticed we were out of chicken at the house. What the fuck are y'all talking? Shut up! Freaking crazy ass victims people. At? 26 are all victims at Marie and Kelly. Well, we have two victims now in front of us. So in front of two victims down. Where's the third? We've got three civilian victims and the suspect on the same location. Marie and Kelly. All right, time for three civilians and one suspect. Time is 650. Good grief, that was freaking painful. Can anybody tell I get irritated with freaking mouthy dispatchers and won't shut the hell up? Hey, look, there's smoke. What does that mean? Raise your hand if you've got a clue when you see that much smoke, what you're thinking. If you think there's a fire and your hands up, congratulations. Probably right. So there's a fire and smoke. Where the hell is the big red truck? Oh no, we can't go in, it's too dangerous. We're at, the, we're at the store picking up our groceries for our next lunch tomorrow and uh, blocking traffic. We're not coming in. Well, what about the fire? And That's what you're paid to do. And it's like, that's your specialty. And you got the hose and you got the big red ladder. And it, and you can't go in? No, no, it's too dangerous. Uh, we can't go in. Okay, I got it. But Rick Fire Department's very dangerous. They're all heroes. Okay. So this is pretty cool. This dude gets out of the car, here's your suspect, and immediately takes rounds. Oh shit! Who the hell would expect somebody to be shooting at me? I just heard the radio for 20 minutes about some dude shooting three people. I get out of my car and I'm shocked when somebody shoots at me. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? You get out of your car like you're going in to freaking pick out donuts. Holy shit, somebody shot at me. Who, who could have predicted that? Ray Charles saw that shit coming. Shot fired, shot fired, shot fired. Drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. I ain't yelling drop the gun when somebody's shooting at me. I'm shooting them. Okay? I don't care. You already shot at me? We're way past talking about dropping a gun. Go, 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 go. Move in, move in. DC. So he gets on top, takes a pretty good shot here. Here's the suspect. First round, he hits a dude. He takes a good double-handed shot. I think he was a little low. You have to be very careful because what happens if you don't train a lot, your barrel is lower than your sights. 
And when you get obstacles in front of you, just because you have a clear line of sight does not mean your barrel is clearing the obstacles. He's lucky enough to be high enough that he's clear. But to me, I always get on top of a roof or high. I want to make sure my barrel is not obstructed. If you've ever been on a range and shot the thing in front of you or seen somebody or next to somebody when they shoot it, you don't want splattering glass and metal and wood fragments and all that shit because your barrel isn't clearing obstacles. So to me, I don't think this is trained. I think this is lucky. He's pretty low here and he does not have a lot of room between this shot and the roof of these cars. And he's lucky, his bullet, because he's thinking in a crisis, as long as I can see, my barrel is clear, and that's not true. Guy drops. 26, shot fired, shot fired, subject down. Now he's in a good position. Now he knows his barrel isn't obstructed. That's where I think I would have took first shot, personally. And I'm not sure why he's shooting here. He's just kind of target practicing. But I think the guy is moving this whole time. Maureen Kelly's. Maureen Kelly's. One subject down. So he's trying to listen to the radio with all the dispatch talking shit in his ear. He's, in a he's engaged in shooting a guy. He's getting shot at. The house is burning. S other victims are bleeding out. And you got dispatch. Uh, can somebody tell me what's the exact location? If he was really on it, he would be directing other units in. Unit, approach from this way. Don't approach from the east. The suspect is down and armed in front of the burning house. Do not cross in front of the burning house. That's what he should have been saying over the radio. Maybe he couldn't because freaking dispatch and a sergeant was too damn busy planning next week's freaking picnic. <coughs> So he lets these guys pull right by the suspect. He's lucky the suspect didn't shoot him in the head as they drove by. You passed, you passed, him. Get... you passed him. You sound like a damn woman on the highway. You know you just passed the exit, didn't you? Why didn't you tell me before I got to the exit? Why are you telling me I passed it after I'm by it, you freaking rocket scientist? Quick, 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 quick. Two units drove right by the suspect. Go, 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 go. Now... In his defense, cops rolling up on scene and you see a cop pointing at you and you drive in front of him, we call that a clue. Normally, cops have their guns pointed at bad guys. So these cops could have got a clue, but it's too late. I mean, if they see him now, it's like, shit, he's aiming at me. The suspect must be behind me. So they pull through. So now these cops... Or like, shit, he's pointing his gun. Let's see where he's pointing. That's communication right there. Keep your gun on the target, and most people with two brain cells will figure out he's probably pointing at a bad guy. Maybe. Now, these guys just freaking open. I don't know how many rounds they fired, but dude, these cops like go to town on this dude. He's still got the gun. He's still got the gun. So we have four officers. One, two. This guy, one, two, three, four. When we see a different camera view is where it's going to get dangerous. He's still got the gun. Holy shit, man. Wow. Spray and pray. Who cares what the background? Who cares if there's an innocent civilian? Who cares if he had a kid in the car? And he was about to carjack him. Who cares? Freaking shoot away. It's open line, hot range Friday. <laughs> Boom, right there. This is why I tell you, don't let people get behind you and shoot. Don't get in front of people shooting. This dude is lucky he wasn't shot in the back. He's behind him. He's enough room where this guy can move in front of him. If this guy gets hit, falls, or whatever, and he shoots. Boom. And then this guy moves. Man, he's lucky this guy's paying attention. He's probably mad. Dude, you moved right in front of my line of fire. He's blaming him. You know what? I just don't, I don't, I don't want people behind me shooting. 
I'm going to be the last guy behind everybody if there's a bunch of people shooting. What does he do? He moves in behind these two. Push forward, push forward. Who's saying push forward? Come here! So here's the FBI track. Black people, I forgot what it read, are the cause of something, are the the tool used to maintain racism or something. I think is what it says. Now that's a fire. Rope Charlie around. He'd be all right. Get a little gasoline. Yeah, that's a fire. So here's the where they called in more shots fired. You can see the sparks of the electric going off. Pull him out! Grab his hand, pull him out! I'm coming, coming. Victim on the ground. No problem. We're too busy shooting this guy right now. But they're here to protect and serve. Somebody's gonna be here. Why are they dragging him out? Why aren't they providing first aid? I got no freaking problem with this. Get him clear of that vehicle. Get him out to where we can work on it. Get him out to where we can handcuff him. Drag many people. I don't give a shit. I'll change the location. That's better for me. And if somebody wants to say that's police brutality, well, then tough shit. You can get happy in the same pants you got unhappy in. And it's another video. Hey, look, there's a fire. Hey, I'm surprised this guy didn't get on the radio. Hey, what's the address of that fire again? Um, I need the address. Can you repeat the numbers? 44, all units stand by. You think I'm kidding? We've had people asking to repeat the location of a fire. And usually a smart ass, not me all the time, but sometimes it's going to be the house where all the smoke's coming from and the big flames. And then people would key their mic like, yeah, yeah, where'd you get him, dumbass? <laughs> when you make a joke on the radio, all the other cops who get it just key their mic. So what you hear is, ksh, 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 ksh. you hear a lot of squelching. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? You do not want to be out here when cops are showing up where's he at? Where's he at? with gunshot calls. That is a good way to get shot and killed. Where's he at? Where's he at? Wait, wait, wait. This is the unit that pulled in, the second unit that pulled in front of these guys. Remember, there was four cops here shooting. Four! So this is a five guy. Red truck, red truck, red truck, red truck, red truck. Man. Who thinks he aimed at something? Who thinks that was suppressive general location fire, or was that aiming at a threat? Red truck, red truck! Five shots. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe they, maybe he's the fourth guy. Okay. Watch up, watch up, watch up, watch up. So this is the guy that almost got shot. Moving in front of people. Backing up when shots are fired. Very common. That's why you need to stay. Watch up, watch up, watch up. Locked out. Magnum. Rick. That's why they need to carry revolvers. That no, that's why they need to be held accountable for the rounds. Every round found on this that's missed needs to go in this guy's jacket, saying, "Dude, you were springing and praying. Why were? You well, I was in fear of my life, and you, you don't know how it is, and it's scary, and you just throw rounds." And no, these guys aren't taking active fire; they're standing out of the open, just doing mag dumps because they can. Right in his freaking ear, dude. Really? Reload right in your ear. What do you think this guy's ear sounds like right now? Ow! I wonder why he moved. Anybody know why he moved? Raise your hand if you know why this cop moves. So why does this cop move? I don't understand why he moved. Gee, he moved away pretty fast. I wonder why. Well, Rick, he might have been taking fire from... No! He had a dumbass put his gun next to his freaking ear. That's why he moved. Come 
they've already shot probably, I'm going to say 40 to 60 rounds at this dude. Show me your hands. Really? I don't have any hands. You shot them off like a chicken chong. Sign the papers, old man. I cannot sign the papers. What do the papers say? It merely says we have not mistreated you while you have been at this prison camp. But I cannot sign the papers. Why not, old man? You have broken both of my hands. Roll over. The guy ain't moved since you've been dragging him. Roll over. And again, that's just stress. Uh, verbalizing, you know, they're not, they're on reaction mode right now, not let's slow and think about it. And that happens in high risk. And I get it. Frank cops go, man, you're picking on him. It's not hard. You're Monday morning quarterback and those cops are all heroes. Okay, whatever. I mean, I think the cops did okay other than almost shooting themselves in the back and blowing each other's eardrums out. Otherwise, they did a pretty good job. <laughs> Hear all that bullshit ready on the background? These guys are out here fighting with a dude, risking their lives, and the dispatcher is just running their mouth and a sergeant talking bullshit on the radio. Notice the guys on the job, on the scene, taking care of business. Notice how they don't have time to talk on the radio. So who's talking on the radio? Nobody should be talking on the radio. That radio should be these guys on scenes radio, and only they should be using it. Freaking dumbass sergeant and dispatcher. No, we got to get away from the house. We got to get away from the house. Get away from the house. They're probably feeling some heat, even though they're far away. They're probably... What happened to the lady that was on the ground here? Did somebody help her? That looks like a guy showed up with a long gun. He's in plain clothes, or is this a citizen? Or is this a cop or a citizen that just came out of his house? I don't see a badge on him. Huh. Who thinks these cops are prepared and have secured the scene that if, if let's just say this was four guys who wanted to take out a bunch of cops. So they light the house on fire and they have one dude here. You know, they pick up some homeless dude, super glue a gun in his hand and throw him in front of a burning house. Cops show up and focus on him. Meanwhile, while they're all doing that, they're getting sniped from three or four different areas. How hard do you think you'd be able to take them out? People that think government is all tactical and sound and they'd be tough to take out. Any tactics whatsoever, you can take cops out when they're on scenes like this because they are not thinking security, multiple suspects, snipers in the area. They aren't thinking any of that. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Man, we got bodies everywhere. Baltimore Police Department, open up. I ain't opening them up. You motherfuckers are out there shooting everybody in sight. You think I'm opening my damn door? You're freaking crazy. Hey, Beckett, Beckett. Get, get up. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Yeah, it's the guy in the black. The guy in the black is you. In the street. Hey, Keller. Where are the guns right by the red car? I'm not even sure why they're trying to get in that house. That sounds like the big red truck. Somebody pried them away from the dinner table or Safeway parking lot. Almost shot him in the back again. This guy moves in front of him and this guy shoots.
How would you like this car to be yours? How would you like to be looking out your window right now seeing a bunch of cops shooting around your car? Using your car as a bullet magnet. So, if there's somebody in the house right now, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, when they were banging on this door, it looks like this might be the same house. So they were standing in the door and looking in this door. I didn't know that was a house that was on fire. I thought it was one house over. So it looks like this is the one house. I still don't know why they're banging on that door. Um, but. <laughs> 28 as of right now, we have the only active shooter. Uh, one house is fully engulfed, and uh, we have uh, another one getting, getting on fire now. Okay, so obviously this guy is a cop because he's up here giving directions and doing things with his long gun. And again, when they put out an active shooter or something, any units on the road goes. So, I mean, even though we were on a task force, if SAC SO or SAC PD put out an active shooter, and we were in the area, would respond, even though we were in plain clothes, etc., we'd pull out our long guns and assist, either in searching, securing, chasing, whatever. So, I mean, that's kind of standard. So some of these people may be from different agencies, which is why we're seeing all these cops showing up. Huh? That's right now, just him. We got to see who lives in the corner house. Come on, try to get them up. Now, you know, if there's kids in that house and somebody's in that house and they heard all this gunfire, they're not coming out. They may not know their house is about to burn down. Go to my county police! Anybody in here? Let's go! I'm, I'm just getting ready. I'm just getting ready. I don't know. I'm trying to call out to them. Go to my county police! Anybody in here? I would go in and search. I mean, look, this is, this is the idea of exigency. You don't need a warrant and you don't need consent. You are going in to save someone's life. You're not looking for drugs. You're not looking for evidence of a crime. You're going in to see if there is a kid. Somebody passed out. Somebody caught a, a stray round. Somebody's bleeding out, passed out. Old person who is bedridden. You go in, you clear the house quickly for people, and you get out. I don't know why they're not going in. Again, maybe it's smoke and heat. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's filling up with smoke. But I would have went in the house. Get out of here. Come in. Uh, And then the big red truck came. Yep. Right. Yep. Now let's see how long it takes them to put water on this. Fire. Yeah, we can't turn off our siren. We just want to blast everybody. Let them know that we're here. We're the fire. We're the fire department. We're the good guys. We're heroes. They cut it out. 37 outside suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Officers found 24 outside suffering from gunshot wounds. Yeah, but how many of those gunshot wounds from the cops shooting out of control? They're saying there's a lot of gunshot wounds. Did the suspect shoot all these gunshot wounds? Of course they're not saying that. A fourth person shot outside their home and survived. 56 died as he was being transported to the hospital. Officer recovered a handgun, knife, several homemade explosive devices outside. Oh, he had explosive devices. Nice. He was waiting for the FBI. And there's a pretty picture of his gun, that mean gun. There's a pretty picture of his mean knife. Dangerous knife. That was an assault knife. Good grief. Horrible. Look at it. that cone's in fear right now. Floor perfectly the officers who fired service with remain on administrative duty. That's the whole fuck. All right. Well, in that there, overall, the cops did okay other than their tactical errors.